Hey, what's good viewers? Today I've got the Guardians of the Galaxy 5 box. It was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Here's the box. It's actually a really cool looking box. The box art on the inside flap is the same as the outside flap. On the back they got a cool setup of all the actual toys, pose and everything. On the side they got the symbol for the Guardians of the Galaxy with their faces in it. I love that it's comic accurate. One of the main things that drew me to the set was the fact that it was comic accurate and not accurate to the movies. Nothing against the movies. I just personally like the way comic book characters look. The set comes with Gamora up here. Rocket, Raccoon. Comes with Groot, Thanos, Star-Lord. I will review each one separately as just a time saver. The other reason why I will review each one separately is because some people might just be interested in a few. Because this is the day and age of eBay, and you may only want Star-Lord, you may only want Thanos, so... Without further ado, let's start opening this baby up. I am Groot. Continuing my series on the Guardians of the Galaxy reviews, this is Groot, of course. We've already gotten one Groot in the Build-A-Figure series for the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. You had to buy each of the figures just to build them. But this one does have some subtle differences. Unfortunately, though, about... 80 or 90 percent of it is exactly the same as the build a figure we already got. Some of the differences are most notably the head sculpt. The other difference would be throughout he has a darker shade of brown paint app. Also on the movie version there was moss here and on the face while this one's just you know pretty much brown all over and darker brown. We're not getting any green on it at all. This is a pretty wicked cool head sculpt. I love the way his, we'll call it hair, looks. He just looks pissed off like he's going to mess something up. He is scary. The comic book version of Groot is scary, man. I would not mess with the version of the comic book. He's, uh, he's actually a lot smarter in the comic books from what I read. I've read that he's actually so smart that he says I am Groot because no one can understand him. But he's actually super intelligent. If that makes any other sense. He's got some gold pupils there. In the box art, he had all gold eyes or kind of light eyes. I kind of wish they would have done that a little bit more. I think it made him a little bit scary looking. His grimace face is pretty scary. He looks like something out of like a Halloween book or a Halloween movie. Something that's going to scare you when you go to sleep. Not quite and cuddly and friendly as the, the version from the movie. Since most of you have already seen... The movie bath version, or probably heard I've seen another review of it. I'm not going to go too much into detail with the overall mold. It's it's a really nice mold. I love the way it just looks throughout. Like he looks like a tree. You can see these vines throughout. It's a really nice mold, and yeah, I got no complaints on it. I'm not a big fan of the darker brown. I think it just went a little too brown, or they didn't add enough diversity. I think some green in there, or something. There's something off. I can't quite you know, nitpick it myself, but I do like the lighter version, the movie version, just the paint app's a little bit better. Going to articulation, again, I don't want to waste your all's time, because I know most of you have already seen a review of the bath group, but for those who haven't, I'll go through it, of course, real quickly. He's not going to get much head articulation at all, it kind of just pops off. Once you get to this point, it, it won't go any farther. He does have a little bit of like a it's not a hinge or anything, it was just the way the ball joint is. He'll kind of rock his head back and forth. And of course it'll go all the way around. Shoulder articulation go up that much. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel, and a wrist hinge. <clears throat> not much of an ab crunch at all. No waist swivel at all. His legs go up pretty darn far. They don't go back hardly at all. They swing out to the side pretty far. His knees are only single jointed, so they don't go back that far. Kudos to you Hasbro for pulling off the ankle rocker on this Groot figure, that's pretty awesome. So it works just like a normal boot. It also comes with a mini version of Groot. If this looks familiar, it's because they already re they already released it twice. Uh, it came with a Rocket Raccoon single, 3 and 3 quarter scale, and the an older box set that came with the Star Lord Drax and Rocket Raccoon 3 and 3 quarter scale. I'm going to say this one's actually a little bit darker to match the way uh, the actual figure looks. And I think that's about the only difference. It's a neat little mold and I like it. I don't have any real complaints about it. <laughs> it's a little creepy looking though, to be honest. As I've already stated, I am partial to the comic book accurate characters. But this Groot is definitely my least favorite of the set. It just feels a little bit lazy. 
Um, given that it's just a remold, then the only thing different is the head sculpt, which the head sculpt looks pretty freaking awesome. I like it a lot. But I feel like they could have done something better. They could have done a little bit more. I'm sure if I didn't already have the other Groot, I'd be totally amazed by this figure. But, you know, you can't erase history, and we've already got another one. So it had standards that it needed to live up to. For more cool toys like this Groot, check out the link in the description below. I'm pretty sure you can actually buy the set to get the old movie Groot and BBTS. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!